I know you're anxious to see the data. In order to see this, you might want to double click the video in YouTube here and expand the button so you can see it. But what we have here is the R time measures mass by measuring the frequency of the resonant sensor as well as measuring the frequency of a reference sensor. The purpose of the reference sensor is to remove effects that have nothing to do with the collection of mass that are imparted on by both the reference sensor and the mass collector sensor in the same way. Um, so this one being the reference sensor so shows that the frequency changed uh, less than uh, one hertz. Um, but what we have here is as the filter was started, the frequency goes down. Remember, as a resonant structure resonates, it gets heavier on the end. Picture an elephant on the end of a resonator. It's going to go slow, and a light Tweety Bird on the end will resonate quickly. So what we have is the resonant frequency with this little bump here shows that the filter seating slowly decreases monotonically and gives an indication of the total mass. This total mass is corrected on by this by the change in pressure of the filter. As the pressure loads up, um, the pressure within the collection volume decreases, thereby decreasing the mass of the resonant structure. So now you have an overview of that. I'm going to expand this screen a little bit. And now I have each one of these columns. We have the total mass, mass rate, volume, liters, all of these variables are indicated and collected. They go all the way up to AM. Also, they go to the very bottom, and we have the raw data of the, of the device. So here we have the, the, the name of the file, the start time, the stop time, the, the, the a lot time of the sample, the filter. Some of these variables uh, have to do with parameters that can be used to determine um, what happened during the sample even if the indicated values I show are incorrect because of uh, incorrect assumptions on calibration coefficients. So all of these show what happened, what the, the collector K were and the reference K were. It's like having the position of a p potentiometer known at the um, time of the test. We also know what devices were used and we um, end up with our final uh, answers, if you will, that folks care about. So that's the big overview of, of that one. Now I'm going to show you another uh, sensor and how a bad sensor works. This is a bad sensor. It's known as 0303. And what we show here is the alt collector. The collector resonant frequency goes up instead of going down. So what's happening here is with the smallest amount of collection of particulate, the filters getting closer and closer to the um, filter holder, um, showing that the mass is decreasing because the, the uh, lever arm is decreasing. And then at this point here, the filter starts to seat fully and we have a monotonic increase in mass. And so uh, this is the frequency. I didn't bother showing the mass, but here we show also that this one, the total flow, because the pressure exceeded the total pressure of the BG3 at 140 inches of water, that it um, decreased the flow. So this is just kind of uh, showing what a, uh, the worst case is, uh, which has been cured with a new design. So that's why I gave you these two files. So that's it. And give me a buzz if you have any questions. 831-455-0418. Okay.